Briefly wanted to talk about the new NFL kickoff rule changes. If you don't know, they changed the rules to the NFL uh, kickoff, which, you know, in about two or three years, Peter King today on Pro Football Talk uh, said that it probably will be eliminated. Probably will be no kickoff. That's no stranger to, to real hardcore football fans. But it's mostly sports talk. It's your boy CJ Goodfellow talking about some of these rule changes. And we knew they had an NFL protest rule change. Real quick, we could talk about that. Either you could stay in the locker room for the anthem or you could come out and stand for the anthem. And if you kneel, um, you know, for the anthem, the team can uh, discipline you however they please or in certain parameters that haven't been released yet. So that also happened uh, in the last couple of days that the owners voted on that. Um, how do you feel about that? And it is what it is, man. Either you're going to protest football or you're going to just roll with it. You know, it is what it is. But the kickoff rule changes is uh, like this. Shout out to, um, you know, PTI, pardon the interruption. No, that's not PTI. Um, around the horn, excuse me. No running starts for coverage team. That means you can't run, uh, you know, run and get a, a head start and head of steam running down the field like when the kicker is about to run up and kick it and all the players start running behind them. Can't do that no more. No more two-man wedges now. Remember, they had like three and four-man wedges coming down for us to play football. You hold hands and, you know, Whoever, you know, whatever defenders run up, you 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 slob or knock them, knock them clean out. Uh, now they reduce that to two-man wedges. They took the two-man wedge away. So, you know, you can't hold hands and, and form a wall for your for your runner, you know, your ball carry. Eight of 11 men on the return team must be in setup zone near kickoff. Um, I don't know exactly what that is, but uh, uh, I guess as far as the format, it, it would be as far as how you can stack, you know, certain people to one side, you know, it's it's probably telling you that, you know, eight of eight of eight of guys must be in a certain position, you know, before they even start to get upfield. You know, they gotta be in their zones and they gotta play a part of the field. We know sometimes on one side kicks they can load up to, you know, like damn near everybody except for one guy to one side of the field. Uh you can't do that no more. I guess that's what that is. Um Ball is dead if it touches the ground in the end zone. <laughs> That's crazy. So, I mean, if a guy just happens to drop the ball and he wants to pick it up and run out the end zone, can't do that no more, even though that might be a positive change. We've seen a lot of idiotic kick returners let it hit the ground and try to pick it up in the end zone and end up getting hit at the 5 or at the 7 or the 1 sometimes. So that could be a positive. But it's just screaming that the NFL is, you know, it's <laughs> – it's going soft, and they tearing up a product. They trying to reinvent the wheel, and what made NFL great was his uh, his caveman s uh, you know approach to sports. It was physical, it was fast, it was good, and now they are taking a great product and making it a shitty product. Along with the anthem protest, is making people turn people off. They they eventually gonna going, going to go to a third or fourth race sport. Um, I can see the NFL having a slippage like the NHL did, especially with all the protests and all the all the uh, all, all what's going on, man. Especially they're gonna take the kick return out. That's one of the most exciting plays in football. And probably just gonna sit at the twenty-five. Then they're gonna probably try to take the punt out. It's just NFL. You can just tell that they 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 just trying to reinvent the wheel with a great product. That's pretty much a perfect product right now. Understanding concussions. I mean, at the end of the day, you can have guys sign a waiver and a confidentiality agreement. They know what they signed up for. All these players talking about, oh, I didn't know I was going to get concussion CT. You know that when you're young. You know when you go out on that field and anybody that plays football, you risk your life every time you go out on that field. It's it's the unspoken golden rule of, of football. You know what you're going up against, but like I said, everybody, when they when you, when you, you know, fuck up your money or fuck off your money, excuse my language in that field, everybody's going to try to come back with CTE and a money grab. You know what I'm saying? It's as simple as that. You made all that money, you got a pension, and you messed over your money. That's on you. Don't put that on the NFL. You should have been saving your money. You had all this health insurance. You should have kept up with your health. But when you got no money going in, you're going to scratch and claw for the best way, and the quickest way, and the easiest way to get some money, and that's to sue the NFL. So if I'm the NFL and, you know, if they really cared about these players' well-being, they in Thursday night football. Really. They will end Thursday night football if they cared about their safety, but they don't. They care about, you know, they care about money. They care about lawsuits and stuff of that nature. And that's why they eventually going to eliminate the kickoff. And that's why you got the new kickoff rules. Let me know how you feel about these new kickoff rules. It's more to see sports talk. We go.